Greetings everyone, today I would like to talk about our exciting research at Chapman University about a novel method to isolate sunflower protein while minimizing greening that happen naturally through the use of dough conditioner, cysteine, and also glutathione. Let's talk about sunflower seeds. In this picture, you will see both sunflower seeds kernel and sunflower seeds meal, a byproduct of sunflower oil extraction. Sunflower seeds is very high in protein and they are free from big major allergens in the United States. They are actually non-GMO because there are no available GMO variety for commercial production. However, sunflower is a challenging ingredient to use because of greening that happen under certain condition. The main reason why sunflower is a challenging ingredient is because of intense natural and unique greening that happen when sunflower seeds product like butter and flour is being used in high heat like in baking and with the use of baking soda for high pH. Put in cookie and muffin, greening occurs at a given time and it's enhanced after prolonged time and with higher concentration. Talk about the chemistry. During high pH, chlorogenic acid, a potent antioxidant in sunflower, is oxidized to CGA quinone, and they are likely to be attacked by amino acids called lysines that is also abundant in sunflower. As a result, a chemical known as TBA is formed, which is responsible for the greening in sunflower. One clear way to prevent greening is through use of lower pH, as Wildermut Research is incorporating different sweetener and honey and agave noticeably have less greening than maple syrup, and it's more prominent over 24 hours. At this point, you might ask why we even bother with high pH where we can simply choose to do production with low pH. The reason why is that high pH will produce higher yield that we cannot achieve with low pH. And this is because heliantinin, the major sunflower protein, has much higher solubility at higher pH. And it's also imminent in our research that high pH produce much more yield than low pH. Currently, a current industry practice is to remove the CGA antioxidant prior to protein extraction. So how do we prevent this greening while at the same time we keep the high production yield? So here is a new variable involving these two ingredients known as cysteine and glutathione and both of them have a unique thiol group which is responsible for the greening prevention. Cysteine and glutathione has been granted approval by FDA as GRAS or generally recognized as safe. Currently, the main uses of these two ingredients are in bakery as a reducing agent, which help to chemically break down gluten formation. The usage of cysteine is very small, while glutathione is not available in its pure forms. Hence, glutathione is only available through the use of specific yeast. Glutathione is also can be used to prevent oxidation in wine through the use of wine yeast. And both cysteine and glutathione are available as supplements for our dietary needs. However, the use of cysteine has a major drawback due to its manufacturing process which is derived from keratin of animal hair. Hence, this might create a question from vegan-based customer. The thiol group of both cysteine and glutathione is much more powerful than license in terms of attacking CG quinone. Hence, we can prevent greening while at the same time we achieve a powerful antioxidant known as CGA thiol conjugate. Currently at Chapman University, we are investigating the effect of both pH and concentration of cysteine versus glutathione in inhibiting greening during alkaline sunflower protein extraction. We are also incorporating non-thermal technology such as freeze drying to enhance the protein quality and we will investigate more about the changes in protein structure and its functionality in our upcoming research. Thank you for listening to my presentation and 
hopefully in the near future, sunflower protein will be more commonly available to the market and we can all enjoy the antioxidant value.